Welcome to Cisco Center of Excellence at NSC, Course Routing and Switching 1, Course Code NHOP09. Today we will see hands-on session using a packet tracer activity and let us guess what is the topic for today's hands-on session. So you see this figure, in this a man is working, uh, let us say a small company is there and a man is sitting and doing his work and this is the switch for the this network and this is an intruder who is trying to enter or access this network so we have to provide a lock we have to provide security to this network from all the intruders so today's topic is switch port security we will do a hands-on session using Cisco packet tracer to configure switch port security let us take one example uh, take a small company where three PCs are connected just started company you have a switch here and this switch is connected with three different PCs PC0, PC1, PC2 and these are the MAC addresses of the PCs 1111 colon 1111 colon 1111 is the MAC address for PC0 similarly this is the MAC address for PC1 this is a MAC address for PC2 now this laptop uh, is another device this person comes he wants to uh, get the confidential data of the um, of this company uh, company's small network so if he wants to enter and collect, uh, collect the data of this network he can just plug into this particular port and if this partic this port is not secure he can access all the data we have to secure this port now to secure this port there should be one unique identity with which we remember that we have to allow this PC and we should not allow another PC and that is the MAC address all of us know that MAC address is the Ethernet address which is hard coded on the network interface card which is unique for each and every PC so what a strategy we will use to secure our port is we will allow this port to remember the MAC address of this PC and if you want to allow 10 uh, computers to uh, access this particular port that also can be done only those 10 MAC addresses this port will learn and this will allow only those 10 machines uh, to enter into the network any other machine any other laptop any other device with another MAC address will not be able to enter to this network so this is how we will try to secure the network we will provide port security to this port so that no other device other than the mac addresses which are learned through this port other than those mac addresses no other device should be allowed allowed to access the port of uh, port of the switch now there are two different ports two different types of ports access and trunk ports Access links are generally connected to the end devices. You see here two switches, uh, you can see, uh, say this is first floor switch, this is second floor switch and these are the PCs which are connected through access links. These are access links, access ports which are directly connected to the end devices and in between two different switches we have a trunk port. Two different switches are connected through trunk port and a switch is connected to the end device to a PC using access port. So we will be use, using access port in this particular uh, hands-on session. We will be uh, drawing this topology. So in this topology, these switch are connected to uh, this PC using access port. So we'll be using access ports. Now for switch port security, it remembers the Ethernet MAC address connected to the switch port as we already discussed that each and every computer has a, a unique MAC address and that will be remembered by the switch port and it will allow only that MAC address to co communicate on that port if any other MAC address tries to communicate through the port port security will disable the port it will not allow any um, communication or any messages to get transferred from one source to destination now violation tells the switch what to do when the number of MAC addresses on the port has exceeded the maximum so if you have allowed 10 machines and 11th machine has come um, with a different MAC address 
we have to use uh, one of the violation strategies to protect our network so there are different uh, three different violation strategies one is protect mode one is second is restrict mode and shutdown mode now protect mode is data from unknown source mac addresses are dropped a security notification is not presented by the switch so if you if uh, any intruder tries to uh, access the data the data will not be sent but any notification is not sent if you are using protect mode but in restrict mode data will be dropped your packets will be dropped and a violation counter will be incremented a counter will be incremented so that uh, the authorities will come to know that uh, somebody has tried accessing their network and they can um, take the preventive measures similarly we have a shutdown mode this is the default mode interface becomes error disabled and port led turns off this is more secure and whenever any intruder tries to access your network the uh, uh, port will completely shut down the violation counter will also increment issues the shutdown command and then the no shutdown command on the shutdown command and no shutdown command on the interface has to be applied to bring it out of the error disabled state so whenever shutdown mode uh, we will apply and then uh, your uh, port will be completely disabled to make it up again we have to manually shut it down and again we have we have to make it up using no shutdown command and then only we will be able to use that particular port so if we see the protect mode it doesn't forward any uh, traffic no displays error message no increases violation counter no shutdown port no but restrict mode your violation counter will be incremented in shutdown mode your violation count will be incremented and port will also goes to shutdown state just take a look at this uh, port security configuration if we have a switch and we have a pc with the different mac addresses the commands we'll be using are first we have to go to that particular port which you want to uh, secure so f0/19 so we'll go to inter interface fast ethernet 0/19 we'll go we'll type switch port mode access because we are using the access port this is directly connected to the pc so switch port mode access switch port port security will enable port security feature switch port port security maximum 10 that means only 10 pcs will be allowed to access this port and then switch port port security mac address sticky so whichever mac address will be writing here all that will get stick to this port it will remember all those mac addresses so mac address sticky will automatically remember all those mac addresses so first machine if uh, this is connected to this port it will remember this uh, mac address the, so a uh, one number is gone now second machine if you connect that second mac address also it will remember like that 10 first uh, first 10 machines it will uh, remember the mac addresses and 11th machine uh, it will not allow to access the network uh, if we, if we want to give uh, access to only one pc then we have to write here maximum count so these are the commands for the switch port security now we will see it through packet tracer how we can assign the switch port security these are the commands i'll open the packet tracer now in packet tracer uh, we will do the same topology we have seen uh, in the beginning we have to take a switch 2960 series switch and we have to consider three pieces first pc for protect mode and we will also see we'll also see uh, restrict mode on pc2 and we will see a shutdown mode on pc2 so three pcs we have taken pc0 pc1 and pc2 now we will connect it uh, using uh, copper straight through cable so uh, we have to remember the fast ethernet port so i'm using one for first machine and i am using second fast ethernet port for second machine and i am using the third port view you can use any port but we have to remember uh, which particular port we are using or you can just click on here and you can see which port you are 
using now first thing we have to apply the uh, we have to assign the ip addresses to these devices uh, so first uh, uh, ip address i'm assigning is 192.168.1.2 and 255, 255, 255.0 and second IP address to this machine I am assigning desktop IP configuration and 192.168.1.3 I have assigned to this machine and now I am assigning the IP address to the third machine which is desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.4255.0 zero and now we have to go to the switch we have to go to the cli mode and then we have to type here enable and configuration terminal to move to the global configuration mode first we'll be assigning the ip address to the switch for that we have to write the command int vlan1 ip address 192.168.1.4 255 255 255.0 is the subnet mask we have to remember that all the devices should be in the same network and then no shutdown command to make it in the up state now we have to apply the switch port security uh, my first interface is int fa0 slash 1 i have gone i have taken interface uh, 0 slash 1 and uh, now i am uh, taking switch port mode we have to select first switch port mode access then we have to enable the switch port uh, security so switch port port security switch port port security we are enabling the port security into that then switch port port security maximum one i am allowing only one device will be allowed and switch port port security mac address sticky so we have to write the command here mac address sticky as i already explained uh, you mac address sticky will stick that particular mac address mac address of that machine it will stick to that port of the uh, switch and uh, uh, mac address sticky and then switch port port security violation we have to select the violation mode violation violation protect violation mode we are selecting is protect right now we will uh, choose another one we'll go exit here exit from here and we'll do go go to global configuration mode and now i am selecting fa0 slash 2 mode fa0 slash 2 mode and then we have switch port mode access switch port mode access and then we will select switch port port security you can use up arrow switch port port security we are enabling the port security and here again we are uh, an assigning only one machine only one machine we are allowing to access that uh, port switch port port security maximum one switch port port security mac address sticky mac address sticky and here I'm taking the violation mode as switch port port security violation. I'm taking it as restrict. Restrict mode. Exit. Now again, I have another interface FA0 slash 3 interface and switch port. We have to go to switch port mode access. switch port port security we have to enable switch port port security then we have to go to switch port port security maximum one same commands first we have to take the interface then we have to say whether it is access port or the trunk port then we have to enable the switch port uh, port security we have to enable on that uh, interface and then switch port port security how many number of devices you are allowing on that interface maximum one and then you have to say switch port port security dynamically we are assigning the mac addresses so we are using this command switch port port security mac address sticky automatically that machine uh, mac address it uh, that port will learn using this command that mac address will stick to that uh, port mac address sticky and then now here uh, for fa0 slash 3 we will learn violation mode shutdown
so we'll see all the three modes how it works shutdown mode so we have enabled the port security we have assigned the ip addresses to all the machines after that first you have to try sending some packets from one machine to another so once you are sending the machine at that time uh, this will start learning the mac address of those machine only one device is uh, allowed so it will learn all the mac addresses of these machine so mac address of this machine will be stick to this port it will not allow any other machine because maximum limit we have given is one and mac address of this machine will be stick to this port and it will allow only this pc to access this uh, port and mac address of this pc2 will be stick to this port and it will allow only pc2 to access this port okay so we have sent the messages from one uh, pc to another it has learned all the uh, mac addresses now what we will do is we will take one intruder as a laptop we'll assign the ip address to this also so we'll go to desktop ip configuration 192.168.1.6255255255.0 now I will. Uh, I, we have seen that we are able to send all the messages from one uh, PC to another. Now this intruder has come and I, I, he has uh, taken this cable and connected with its port. Now once this is green, once the connection established, we have to again send the packet and see whether it is allowing this laptop or not. It should fail. We can once again try whether it is failing or not. So this is failing right now again if you you reconnect it back here to this pc last ethernet zero if you connect it back here you can see that it will allow sending messages through this pc only this pc can access this port so from this it is successful from the laptop it is failing from pc zero it is successful similarly we can check uh, the other uh, link also you again connect this to laptop fast ethernet zero now if you look at this if you try to send messages from this you see it is getting failed now again resend one message it is getting failed again resend a message you will see that it is getting failed now you can go to switch mode and see here show Port security command you can use show port security and you will see that three times an intruder has tried accessing the network so it has inc incremented the count but in protect mode there is no increment in the count but in restrict mode the counter will increase it will tell you that three times somebody else has tried accessing the network so administrator can get the information from there uh, that your network is not secure somebody is try to trying to hack it so with show port security we can actually verify uh, what is the difference between protect restrict and shutdown mode it will not increment in protect mode it will increment both in restrict as well as in shutdown mode now again if you connect back this to your pc fast ethernet zero here if you connect it back you will be able to see that now you are again able to ping to other pcs it is successful through that laptop it is failing but through this machine we are able to ping now we will check the shutdown mode also we will connect this to laptop and we will see what happens um, so once it is green um, the connection is made then you try to ping from this laptop to this and you can see that in shutdown mode the port will be disabled it completely get disabled if you reconnect it back to your pc again again it will be in shutdown mode so it will not be able to send any messages it will be completely disabled we have to go to the switch and we have to make it enable so here i'll go to configuration terminal we'll go to global configuration mode int fa 0 slash 3 is my interface i will shut down it manually using sh command and then i will type no shutdown command 
to manually make it up so now when administrator is manually making it up then only we'll be able to send messages from that now if you again send any message from pc to to any other pc it will be successful so only these mac addresses are sticking to these ports and only these mac addresses or these pcs are allowed to access the network through these ports any other um, laptop or any other device which is trying to access the network uh, any unauthorized device will not be allowed to access the network it will fail in that case in protect mode also in restrict mode also in shutdown mode also a shutdown mode is more uh, secure because it will completely disable the port and administrator will come to know that some intruder has tried hacking its network and it can take the preventive measures thank you